Now, how do we play the diminished without making it so obvious? This is something that people fall into with diminished. They, you hear a person play and all of a sudden they go, or they go, a typical bebop one is they go, and, you, and it's kind of like, um, you know, it's, it's kind of like telegraphing your move. It's like, I'm playing diminished now. And the, a better way to do it, I think, is to, um, is to get into creating some triads with the diminished. Triads, that's why we practice these arpeggios I talked to you about before. How, why it's so important is because we need to um, have that flexibility. The triads can be very melodic and it gets us away from sounding scaly when we play all the time. So I'll give you a, just a quick thing just on the C diminished. If we realize that C diminished has, it has an E natural in it, so the C major's in there, it has a G in it. So it has a C triad, and it's one of those things. It also has a C minor triad, right? C and C minor. Again, that sound with the third lowering. C, that's an E, and then it goes to the E flat. It gives us sort of an interesting voice leading. So now we're going to outline the diminished sound using only major and minor triads. That's pretty wild, huh? But it's, it's a melodic way to do it, and it's a way to do it without signing your name saying diminished, you know? So, he, so here we go. Here's... And then... That's the C major and the C minor. You go up a minor third, like you have to do to play the next note in the diminished triad, and you have E flat. Then E flat major and E flat minor. So then you can toggle between those two. You can get melodic with those. So, so we have C major, C minor, E flat major, E flat minor. Then we have it with F sharp too. There's the F sharp major and F sharp minor. All those notes are contained in that half step, whole step scale. So there's another two arpeggios. When you put them all together, which I'm gonna do in a second, it's pretty cool. Uh, this is what tenor saxophone players like Coltrane and later on Michael Brecker and so many people, they've experimented with that diminished sound fleshed out using triads. So A major and A minor. So there's A major and there's A minor. So now we have a whole bunch of triads that we could use. C major, C minor, E flat major, E flat minor, F sharp major, F minor, A major, A minor. There's eight triads we can play around with. Instead of feeling like all we can do is go. You know, that, that always used to drive me crazy. I hear somebody play diminished and they go, here we go, now we're playing diminished. Oh, isn't that great? You know, it's like, after a while, there's no creativity in it. It's just sort of spelling out a sound with no musical end game. Tenor players, when I heard train though, all of a sudden it's, um, he's toggling around between these arpeggios. So it's diminished, but it's sneaky, kind of diminished. What, what is he doing? I used to, I couldn't figure out what he was doing. And then I, I looked into it and had people teach me about diminished. And I realized all those cool licks that Chick Corea and all those piano players stole from that idea from Coltrane too, was that they found a way to use the diminished sound with major and minor triads. I was like, wow, I can play major and minor triads. <laughs> That's not so hard. So. Here's, here's, a, here's a diminished sound. Now here's the scale. Now with the triad combining. Here's F sharp. Now minor, major minor with the F sharp. Now let's do it with A. 
I just did A major to A minor. And I'm using some of the scale tones too. So here's C. The C, C, C major and C minor. And I'm adding some of the scale notes again. So let's do, as a final thing, let's just do C major, C minor, F sharp major, F sharp minor. So here we go. So that, that doesn't sound really blatantly diminished, does it? We're kind of getting sneaky and skating around it. This is the way I want you to think about diminished. You know, if you just memorize that on those roots, C, E flat, F sharp, A, they're just all minor thirds. It's kind of easy to memorize. If I can do a major and a minor triad off of each of them, I can remember that. It, it might at first be a little bit daunting to, wow, I gotta remember all that. After you start playing around with the major and minor triads, which you know, right? Everybody learns these triads. This is why we learn them because they build other things that we, we didn't realize at first. So enjoy your diminished.